first tonight, we begin with that breaking news. CMPD just identified the victim in that deadly hit and run. 56 year old Robert Hopkins was leaving work when he spotted somebody trying to break into a car. Police say he tried to stop the thief when he himself was run down. It all happened in the Ayersley Shopping Center at around 3.30 this afternoon. Hopkins was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. NBC Charlotte's Hunter signs live on the scene for us tonight. Hunter, the victim, just trying to be a good Samaritan here, wasn't he? That's right, Bill. Tonight, sources tell me Hopkins did nothing wrong. We've learned that he worked at a nearby store here, and sources say he was walking to his truck in this back parking lot when he saw that thief breaking into another car. He confronted that crook, but that crook then ran him over and killed him. Feet away from a safe place. I'm honestly shocked. I had no idea. This parking lot at the town of Ayersley was the scene to Charlotte's 105th murder. That, I mean, honestly, with everything going on nowadays, you kind of feel like you can't really go anywhere. Police say a man was intentionally hit by a car around 3 o'clock Friday afternoon. He later died at the hospital. We got people out here uh, who, who literally... Uh, are going to be hurting because of this. Sources say an employee at a surrounding store was walking to his truck. That's when he saw a thief breaking into a car. He confronted the crook who then ran over him. It's just a really sad event right here at the holidays. This woman didn't want to go on camera, but her husband's car was stuck in the crime scene. And I would say hug your loved ones because you never know what's going to happen. Investigators are pouring over surveillance video as they try to find the person who committed such a senseless act of violence. The cyber crimes detectives are working to piece that together and to put out as quickly as possible any still photos or video that we have. A person stepping in to help and violently killed just before the holidays. Now a candid plea from police. Love each other. That is as easy as I can put it and take care of each other and to not uh, resort to violence in this way. Those words certainly hitting home tonight in a city that has seen a deadly year, 105, and we still have a few more days to go. If you have any information about this case, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers. Reporting live tonight in Steel Creek, Hunter Signs, NBC Charlotte. Hunter, thank you. A sad way to start the weekend for sure.